Okay, so this little demo, we're going to show you how to import an image in the new uh, GeoGebra web app. First thing you're going to do is go to the import image icon, which is underneath ABC, import uh, text icon, and there's a the little flower is for image. Click on image and click anywhere in the graphics panel. Well, before I do that, I'm going to right click in the graphics panel and turn on my grid. There we go. So now we're going to click anywhere in the graphics panel and that's going to be the lower left corner of your image. You're going to get a, a drop down box that says to choose file for your image. I'm going to pick it from this file called still images and I'm going to pick this fire station. And I import it and there's my fire station. Now right now I'm at an arbitrary point um, A, B. It assigned this A and assigned this B. You can specify points first uh, on the downloaded program. That's how I'd usually do it, but this web app is just it just gives you free points. So put away the tool here. Take out your move tool. You can move them around to reposition them anywhere you want. You see that it maintains aspect ratio. Right now it is um, not really, it's, a, it's affixed to the grid in such a way that when you scale the grid, I'm doing this by rolling here, scrolling with my scroll wheel, it will change size with the grid. So, I mean, that, that's an advantage that didn't used to happen in the older uh, GeoGebras. If you would like it in the background of the grid, back to the Move tool, you can right-click on it again. You get its object properties down below here and click on background image. If you don't want it to move, you can click on fix object. We're going to click background image. And then we're going to close the object properties field. And there you go. There's your picture with the grid on top of it.